Um, <laughs> and a 52-38 win over Jersey. Absolutely crazy game. Um, first and foremost, just really pleased to get the bonus point win and get back on track. Yeah, I think so. Um, I'd have taken a, I'd have taken a one point win yeah. before the game, Shaps, if I'm honest with you. Yeah, I think it was all about, you know, we had to just get the win first and foremost today. Obviously, after a very difficult start last week to the league campaign. So, you know, to score 52 points is obviously very pleasing. Uh, first half performance, obviously, probably his best 40 minutes that we've yeah. played in the three years I've been here and second 40 almost took us back to where we were last week against Pirates so plenty of things to fix but at least we've got five points on uh, five points on the board now yeah let's talk about the positives first absolutely as you said stunning first half we literally they can't have gone, gone into our 22 more than once or twice just the control of the game and the intensity we played at was fabulous wasn't it yeah no, I think the, you know the game management was superb in the first half we were playing in the right areas um, and you know every, you know a lot of the stuff we speak about just the basics of the game you know making sure the way in which we come onto the ball the motion the the physicality and the breakdown we wanted to get our more functioning um, and I just think we had great balance and we came away with points you know we converted when we got into 22 we converted nearly every opportunity we had and you know I think that that's exactly the response we were looking for uh, and you know it's great to see that and challenge for us is can we maintain that for 80 minutes because the second half is obviously a different story yeah the set piece in the first half as well just carrying on with those positives I mean the scrum was was flying wasn't it and then a few more tries as well must have been delighted yeah I, I, I think the scrum was fantastic and Steve was doing a great job and the boys responded really well in that area you know I must, must admit I was a bit surprised that maybe a yellow card hadn't come out in that yeah. game if I'm honest with him out of scrum penalties that were being given away but um, you know we'll, we'll we'll get some feedback on that but I thought you know the scrum was a fantastic platform for us and then they put us in the right positions on the field then and uh, we spoke all week about wanting to get our more functioning in it and we did I think we scored three or, or four more tries in that game which was which was brilliant because it was uh, you know something we'd highlighted that we wanted to get a bit stronger so it was great that we sort of did that and, and the boys can be mightily proud of that but obviously a few areas that we we're gonna have to fix up pretty quick yeah talking of mindset clearly disappointed with the second half but I guess in fairness fair, fair play to the players for obviously a very difficult game last week to come out and do you know I think it was 33 nil at the break that was quite a statement to make against a team like Jersey wasn't it yeah no massively I'm uh, you know I'd have been disappointed if we hadn't got yeah. ourselves to that place uh, we had you know a little I'll say a couple of real key important meetings this week where the players spoke really well and spoke about you know where they were last week and how it, how it wasn't acceptable and it's not us and I think that first 40 minutes really showed what what we're about uh, it was obviously always going to be difficult going into the second half when you're 33 nil down as an opposition you know that you you're going to raise your game and try and come back into it and I just thought a couple of key decisions in the second half that we made with, with ball in hand probably just swung the momentum back and we've got to realize that we're not going to have momentum at, at times in in this game and that we're going to have to be able to wrestle it back and, and how we do that's probably our biggest learning curve from the game today yeah the control that we had in the first half we clearly kind of lost control a bit in the second half is it is that was that kind of the biggest disappointment that we couldn't quite wrestle back kind of any form of momentum yeah i, I think so i mean there was just a couple of kicks what we put through that you know you're thinking that do, do we really need to what we we went really well we kicked at the right times in the first half and we played when it was on to play and then second half I think we we just couldn't quite do that and you know you've got to give fair play credit to Jersey as well who who started just getting their offloading game going obviously they're chasing the game so they're going to run it from everywhere and I don't think we dealt with that particularly well our collisions sort of dropped off in the second half and you know they they, they grew with confidence as it went on and, and we really struggled to to regain that momentum and I think when we review the game on on Monday morning that'll be the key thing for us is, is, is can we take the learning from it and, and the learning is actually how we're going to regain that momentum and uh, you know the, the boys are a good bunch you know they're, they're very reflective which will be good and ultimately we've got a big challenge next week away at Bedford we've already been there once and we know what threat they pose at home yeah just in the second half you know positives wise still two or three tries which took us over the 50 point mark I think it was seven or eight in total I mean overall it, it's still a fantastic result isn't it oh yeah massively still you know and don't take away like a you know, I think when you're always when you're in the in the game of professional sport, you're always looking for perfection. I guess you're never ever going to quite get it as a coach, but you're always striving for it. Um, and you know, effort was what we were after today more than anything else because that wasn't there last week. Our mindset and attitude was not there in any way, shape, or form last week. And the players put their hand up for that. And today they had that, which is great. And you can work with that. Then, then it's up to us to get the technical and tactical elements in, and obviously the game management, which we can help improve as well.
Um, and just finally, then moving on to Bedford, clearly a team that likes to play with the ball in hand when it's when it's pretty loose. And we'll be looking to uh, fix up defensively for the trip to Goldenton Road next week, won't we? Yeah, well, uh, yeah, ma massively so. I think you know the frustrating thing was giving 38 points away in the second half. And if I'm honest, well, probably when I watch it back. They didn't really have to work for them. That's the that's the frustrating thing. You know, you, we have two mall, uh, hold two pieces of malls out, and then they score in the corner from a crossfield kick and a and a missed pass and uh, off the mall. There, there's 14 points, and you're thinking, right, well, this, you know, teams aren't having to go. They're not going through the phases here. So that that's probably the biggest concern for me is actually the, letting how easy the teams have scored. And we know that Bedford are going to chuck it around. We know what happened there last time in the last 20 minutes. Even though we had some unforeseen circumstances and yeah. going down to 14 men for you know 20 five minutes of the game not that that's an excuse because that might happen uh, hopefully not again for that long uh, and they're a team that can move the ball and they're very dangerous in attack so defensively we're going to have to be on the, on the metal next week was that was the kind of main thing just to get off the mark today in the league and now we can really just kind of start building momentum from here yeah i think so i mean i almost in that box and also like a bit of relief <laughs> <laughs> just to get that win because you know losing can become a habit as winning can so i think it was it was about the result today and we've got that and that's something for us to build on now uh, Elliot, a 52 38 victory over jersey reds a fantastic way to respond from cornish pirates last week um just to get the bonus point win firstly um, i guess we're very pleased with that yeah, yeah it's cracking to do it through the forwards as well that first half loads of pressure from scrum and driving more don't think we'd scored a driving more yet uh, since the friendlies in pre-season so that was good it was the control in the first half wasn't it i think we scored five tries and obviously conceded none i think they they must have only come into our 22 a couple of times we, we just seem to have fantastic control of the match would uh, would you say so yeah i'd say it's one of those simple things where you just like everyone's just do their jobs you push as hard as possible as cliche as that might sound and got over the line we just just went for it and worked as a team the nice. um the scrum was a massive positive today wasn't it i don't know how many penalties it was in the first half but uh, that seemed to be going forward a lot you must have really been enjoying yeah. that yeah i thought after the first sort of four or five we'd get a yellow card but uh, we didn't get one in the end so that's a bit disappointing we wanted that push over try i think we scored one for a while as well and we didn't get that either but, but it was uh yeah it was good to get that consistency that's what we spoke about before the game was scrumming for a pen every time trying to turn over every ball that we can on there put in and uh, i think we delivered which is good and um, the second half clearly it got very loose um are we dis I, I imagine there's a, a fair bit of disappointment with the the defense in the second half yeah it just felt like a bit of a personally it felt like a bit of a spectator in the second half the game just uh, got away it became very open i think there was only sort of maybe two two scrums in the second yeah. half there wasn't wasn't that much to do but, uh, why was that do you think we, we um, kind of didn't really seem to be able to get our hands on the ball i don't know it's happened the this time last year where we were taking battering teams and then they were coming back into it at the end so i don't really know it's a mentality thing again need to work on that uh, probably need to be a bit more look at ourselves a bit more and say what, what what's going on uh, Personally, for yourself, you've fought your way back into the starting lineup um, after the early early season and got a man of the match today. So you must be very uh, very chuffed with that. Yeah, um, yeah, very chuffed. Obviously, uh, a little bit tight edge is still good, so I'll still be pushing and and. Uh pushing me for that spot. Um, we go to Bedford next week, um, another exciting one, and I guess uh, after today we're wanting to uh, fix up some defensive bits for uh, for the trip to Goldington Road, no doubt. Yeah, well we've got to fix up that defence and then make sure we don't drop off the intensity. Like We changed up how we were training the mall in, how we were training our mall in training, and, uh, and if we can sort of repeat that, repeat that again this week and take the same cohesion into next week, then we should be good against Bedford.